Thursday, September 11th, the President addressed the nation last night. I'm Tyson Whiting. And I'm Hannah Barr. We explain how the U.S. intends to fight ISIS, announcing we'll take them on wherever they are. You'll see us in the news next time. President Obama authorized air attacks in Syria yesterday in a speech that clearly stated policy to fight ISIS wherever they may be. The, proof clar the move clarifies American strategy to deal with the Islamic State. The plan calls for the U.S. to dismantle and ultimately destroy the Sunni jihadists who have taunted America by beheading two captive U.S. journalists, calling for what CSN CNN Chief National Security Correspondent Jim Sciotto described as tremendous turnaround in Obama's previous policies in the region. After previously rejecting calls from top advisors to arm and train some of the Syrian rebels fighting President Bashar al-Assad and ISIS, Obama now seeks specific congressional approval to do so. South African athlete Oscar Pistorius was found not guilty th Thursday of premeditated murder and the shooting death of his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. But the judge has not ruled out a possible manslaughter conviction. The judge re read a lengthy explanation of evidence and charges said state prosecutors failed to prove that Pistorius is guilty of either premeditated murder or second degree murder, thus ruling out the charges seated in the dock. This 27-year-old Pistorius frequently sobbed and held his hand, head in his hand as the judge issued her findings. Do not bring your vapes to school. It is a crime and you can get a ticket. Numerous students have been suspended because they brought their vapes to school. Just to be clear, vapes or any type of paraphernalia for cigarettes are not allowed on campus and students possessing vapes will be penalized with suspension. Some students may be the legal age to purchase vapes and you will still get punished for even carrying them on campus. School is a smoke-free zone. Rules apply to everyone. Leave your vapes at home. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Wellness starts with healthy tea. See Dr. Keller today and give your mouth a fresh start. Today's high is 73 with a low of 50 and tomorrow's high is 78 with a low of 42. Watching fluffy ducklings swimming behind Mama Mallard in the Chicago River may be a thing of the past. By the end of the century, according to a new study from the National Abaddon Society, the groundbreaking report released this week looked at 30 years of data to determine how habitat ranges of North America birds have shifted due to the climate change and predicts how they will continue to shift over the next 65 years if climate change continues at its current pace. Mallards, the ducks known for their green-necked males and often found in the rivers, lakes, fountains, and backyards around Chicago, are projected to disappear during the summer from the lower 48 states by 2080. After banning imports of lionfish into the state, Florida wildlife officials are moving to ban the breeding of the eye-catching fish as well. Lionfish are an invasive species in the Atlantic waters, and experts say that they are voracious predators that, will, that are menacing native wildlife. A ban on importing live lionfish into Florida will take effect August 1st. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission voted Wednesday at a meeting in Kissimmee to also prohibit the intentional breeding of lionfish in captivity. Exceptions will be made for research on lionfish population control. The change will take effect December 1st. Today's SAT word of the day is carif, carif. And now that means a glass water bottle. You could use it this way. The way to place the carif of water with lemons on the table before taking the orders. That's your news. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the Talk Daily News. Thank <laughs> you.